Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timushanko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.6 and problem number 2.89. Determine the forces exerted on the cylinder at B and C by the spanner wrench shown in figure. Due to a vertical force of 222.5 newtons applied to the handle as shown by neglecting the friction at B. Clearly you can see the friction force here we would like to neglect. Now there is a wrench and 222.5 newtons force is applied at this point. Our interest is to find the reactions at C and B. Now at B it is in contact in this direction hence there is only one reaction developed at B but here C it is not permitted either in the horizontal direction nor in the vertical direction. Hence two reactions are developed at C and only one reaction developed at B. So by considering the free body diagram of the spanner wrench alone, the forces are RB. This is the force acting on the wrench B by this uh, cylinder. RB in only one direction. But at C, I can find two reactions RCH and RCB. These are the forces acting on the wrench. And of course, 222.5 Newton's force acting at point A. So now I can take the moments. I can take the moments from any point. So I will take the moments about point C. Now RCH and RCV, both the forces are passing through the point C. Hence, these two forces will not create any moment. RB will create a moment in this direction, the counterclockwise direction and 222.5 will create a moment in this direction that is clockwise direction. Next, I require the distances RB from point C. The line of action of RB is at a distance of the radius that is 63.5 mm clearly we can see and the line of action of this 222.5 is at a distance of 304.8 mm from the point C. All the distance are also given. So hence right away I can take the moments about point C. So RB into 63.5 is equal to 222.5 into 304.8 and which gives the reaction at B 1068 newtons. Next our interest also to find the reaction at C. Hence I will use the other equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to 0. If I use the sigma fx is equal to 0, there are only two forces acting along x-axis. So both forces are acting in the opposite direction. Hence, I can say RCH is equal to RB and that value is equal to 1068 newtons. And sigma Fy is equal to 0, there are only two forces are acting along y-axis and both forces are acting in the opposite direction. And straight away, I can say RCV is equal to 222.5 newtons. I know the value of RCH and I know the value of RCV. Hence, I can find the reaction at C by using the equation root of RCH square plus RCV square and it gives the value of RC that is 1091 newtons is the answers for the given problem. 